Welcome to Champions of Care, brought to you by Oakwood Healthcare. My name is Mary Zatina. Today, we're going to talk about lung cancer. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer deaths for men and women. And early detection and early treatment is essential for improving outcomes and improving quality of life. We have a highly skilled physician with us in our studio for the first half of our show, and I'm proud to welcome to Champions of Care, Dr. Salik Jahania. Dr. Jahania, you're an uh, uh, Oakwood thoracic surgeon, and you're also associate professor of surgery at Wayne State University School of Medicine. Is that correct? Yes. Welcome to Champions of Care. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Please explain, what is lung cancer? So, um, lung cancer is a growth, or uncontrolled growth, if you would, of normal cells in the person's lung. They become rogue in the sense that they don't, no longer have any inhibition towards growth. So they grow uncontrollably, and they overcome uh, the surrounding tissues. They grow indiscreetly into surrounding structures such as the heart or the uh, food pipe, esophagus, or chest wall. It, they, these cells can also spread through the blood into other parts of the body. For example, lung cancer uh, predominantly tries to go to the brain or the uh, liver or the bones or sometimes to small glands above the kidneys called adrenal glands. So uh, in, a, in an essence it's a rogue growth of cells that have had some DNA mutation in them that they lose the ability to regulate their uh, replication so they replicate out of sync with the rest of the uh, surrounding tissue. And what causes lung cancer? Well, the number one and most important cause and something we can do something about is, is actually tobacco uh, smoking. So 80 to 90 percent of the patients that we do diagnose lung cancer with have had significant exposure to tobacco. Uh, not to say that only smokers get lung cancer. There are instances where patients have not had any significant smoke, uh, tobacco exposure, but, but uh, in, our, uh, in our world, smoking is the number one cause. Well, and, and that looks like um, a pretty scary looking set of lungs on the right. Are those uh, a smoker's lungs? Yes, so if you look on the left side of the screen, that would be a representation of what uh, normal lungs would look like, someone that has not been exposed to any tobacco. And here we have an example of somebody that's had years of tobacco abuse. This black coloration, if you would see on the lungs, that's actually deposits of what we call anthracylicosis in the lungs. So anthracotic lungs are what uh, a smoker's lungs look like. Are there different kinds of lung cancer, Dr. Johania? Yes. Uh, most importantly, for purposes of rendering treatment, uh, we divide lung cancer into non-small cell type and small cell type. So typically, small cell is very fast growing and it's treated preferably by chemotherapy. By the time it's detected, it's usually already spread to regional uh, filter stations called lymph nodes. Non-small cell, on the other hand, is what we would uh, generally tend to treat with surgery alone in the early stages and a combination of surgery with chemotherapy or radiation in a more advanced stages. So for the, uh, uh, for the listeners out there, uh, we'd like to emphasize that there's basically two different types, non-small cell and small cell. And that's referring to the size and uh, uh, form of the cells as they appear under a microscope. Now you spoke about some of these cells being extremely fast growing. Are, wh what are the ways you can detect lung cancer? So, you know, that's a very important question. Most of the times when we find cancer of the lung, it's already spread to where we can't resect it with surgery. So, in fact, 70 to 80 percent of the times when we do detect cancer in a person of the lung, it's already stage three or stage four. That mm -hmm. means it's advanced. And uh, really, there has not been a good screening test so far. For example, uh, for breast cancer or for colon cancer or for prostate cancer, we have screening tests such as mammograms and uh, stool tests for blood and uh, prostate-specific antigen. There hasn't been really a robust screening test for lung cancer so far. There are some uh, studies that are now uh, showing some benefit of doing uh, screening CT scans or computerized 
tomograms. But right now, we're very limited in terms of screening tests. But generally, when one is found, it's either a chest x-ray or a CT scan, a CAT scan of the chest. And you've brought a picture to show us of a patient who um, does indeed have lung cancer. So when we talk about, you know, how do we determine whether a patient would need surgery or surgery in combination with chemotherapy or radiation or whether they can't have surgery and should have only chemotherapy, et cetera. This is an example of a, a PET scan, a PET, positron emission tomogram. So the main cancer is located here. And then these spots are actually evidence that the cancer may have already spread to the filter stations or the lymph nodes that I talked about. So this represents advanced lung cancer, something that cannot be treated with surgery alone. So this would probably require staging when we have all the state-of-the-art staging uh, methods uh, at Oakwood that we can use to stage and document whether there's actually cancer spread to those lymph nodes without actually having to make an incision on the, on the person. So if a patient gets this very serious diagnosis of lung cancer and they're trying to decide where do I go, what do I do, what are some of the considerations they should take into account when they're making those decisions? So, so the number one thing I recommend to uh, patients is that it's been proven time and again that a multidisciplinary team approach towards treating any type of cancer is the best, that yields the best outcomes. And something that we're very proud to offer at Oakwood is a multidisciplinary thoracic oncology tumor group. We meet once a week and it's combined uh, with specialties including radiation oncology, surgery, medical oncology, radiology, pulmonologists, and a whole host of other team members that get together and present each and every case that's uh, been seen by the doctors. And the whole team then evaluates the entire patient's uh, situation. And that way we can tailor the therapy uh, based on everybody's uh, combined opinion. So is that's it, number Is that one. what's called a tumor board? I've Correct. heard that term, tumor board. So Correct. all of these highly skilled physicians, experts in the variety of disciplines, come together to talk about my, my case. Right. And everyone renders their own opinion on it and then how how do you make a decision which which way we're going to go so there are what's called general guidelines which are formulated and that's what co it's called the evidence base behind the practice of medicine and that's formulated by international groups that look at all the available clinical data that's out there to how to properly stage and once you have a proper stage what is the best treatment that renders the best outcomes over years and so we followed those guidelines and based on all the opinion from all the experts in the various fields we we then determine what treatment will yield the best outcome for that individual patient and some facilities, some hospitals, physician offices, some have certain technologies that help treat more complex cases. What right. can you tell us about that? So that goes through the whole spectrum of the disease. For example, with lung cancer, we need not only a diagnosis, we need staging, we, we need uh, efficient surgical uh, options, and for those that may not have the surgery as an option, uh, palliative medications. Uh, or palliative procedures that would just improve quality of life. So at Oakwood, we're proud to offer the whole comprehensive gamut of uh, minimally invasive uh, diagnostic, staging, surgical techniques, as well as palliative techniques. Dr. Jahania, what surgical options are available for patients with lung cancer? So let's talk about biopsy and diagnosis first, then we'll talk about surgery for the cancer removal, and then we'll talk about any uh, use of technology for facilitating other therapies such as radiation. So here's an example of a advanced diagnostic technique that we have available to offer for patients that uh, would like to have their uh, mass in the lung diagnosed. This is a, a very sophisticated piece of technology called navigational bronchoscopy. This is actually showing me a road map of what I would see inside a patient's lung. And this purple line is guiding me and my equipment out to where the spot on the lung would be to have biopsy it. Mm, that's uh, amazing. 
And moving on to uh, the surgery for the actual tumor, we offer Da Vinci robotic uh, surgery at Oakwood Hospital. This is an example where the uh, arms of the Da Vinci robot are actually uh, inside the patient's chest operating. And as you can see on the screen here, the surgeon who's removed from the patient sitting at a console uh, can actually control the instruments inside the body with telemanipulation. Uh, this allows uh, a 10 times magnification, a much finer control, uh, and uh, allows the patient to return home much earlier with a lot less pain and a shorter hospital stay. And then moving on to uh, facilitating, for example, radiotherapy with CyberKnife, you will talk about that at a later part in the section. The technology I showed you before is actually a key piece in allowing us to be able to place gold markers in the lung, which are then seen by the uh, camera for the CyberKnife to deliver radiotherapy for those patients that uh, that option is chosen as the best option for. Amazing. Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Salik Jahania. You are accepting new patients in your office in Detroit or Dearborn. And we're so grateful you're here on Champions of Care today. Thank you, my Thank pleasure. You. And please stay tuned. We'll be back to learn a little bit more about CyberKnife technology and the treatment of lung cancer.